Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs. Today I am here to do a sort of unusual video. I've got my iPad with this rough script written. But today I'm going to be giving you five, yes five, relatively controversial opinions about Doctor Who that I hold. I just want to say, it's okay if you have differing views. That's fine. I respect your opinion. Unless you like love and monsters. Jokes? No. Any opinion here is accepted and whatever. Just don't write hateful things in the comments. These are just my opinion and just what I think. And at the end of the day, it's only a TV show. So, first one we're going to start off with is the fact that I really dislike the third Doctor. I'll, like, I'm sorry people, but John Pertwee to me doesn't feel like the Doctor. He feels like a really budget James Bond. His stories to me aren't quite as good as the rest of the Doctors. But yeah, I don't know, maybe my opinion will change as I watch more of this era, or if I, I don't know, maybe my brain will one day just click and start liking him. But currently, I really dislike John Pertwee as the Doctor. I mean, he looks the part, but, mmm, the rest's a bit naff. Sarah Jane's good, though. So, another one which is going to anger a lot of people out there. I really don't like the Doctor and Rose as a thing. Like, yeah, it's very sad at the end of Doomsday and all that, and I'm really glad that we never actually heard the Doctor say, I love you to Rose. I love you. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> and I suppose... <sighs> if it's my last chance to say it... Rose Tyler. But still, it's... He's an immortal time-travelling whatever. I don't personally think the Doctor should ever get married. I don't mind River Song, but just don't marry off the Doctor. Don't make him fall in love with these random Earth girls. And Rose is just a bit irritating. Sorry, people, but yeah don't like the Tenth Doctor and Rose together. That's probably one of the reasons as well why I hate most of Series 2, including Love and Monsters, Fear Her, and The Idiot's Lantern. They're all so rubbish. It tastes like chicken. Return. We manage. We've even got a bit of a love life. Oh, let's not go into that. What? Anger over. On to the next point. What is that beeping? The beeping has silenced. I don't know whether you could even hear that on camera, but whatever. Anyway, where was I? Right. I think this is point three. I really like dinosaurs on a spaceship. And you are not going to change my opinion. I genuinely think, like, it's not the best in the world, but... I quite like it. The concept, yes it's stupid, but Doctor Who's allowed to be stupid once in a while. Not Love and Monsters stupid, that's ridiculous. But I really like the way that Chris Chibnall, which is good because he's the new showrunner, um, brings in these random historical fi figures like Queen Nefertiti. Why not? Why, why wouldn't the Doctor just randomly have this person along with them for an adventure? And Brian Williams as well, <laughs> very good, funny, I liked his character in that. Hopefully that's what Bradley Walsh will be like in series 11. Anyway, that brings us on to the next fourth point, which is... I really like series 7. All the way from series 7 A to series 7 B, including Day of the Doctor and Time of the Doctor. <coughs> yeah, I think series 7 as a whole is a really strong series, and... Yeah, some of my favourite stories in there. If Day of the Doctor and that sort of thing counts, then... Yeah. But, speaking of Day of the Doctor, that brings us on to the next, and I think, 
final, yes, final point. I really dislike John Hurt as the Doctor as well. Now, before we start off, yes, I really liked John Hurt as an actor, and I think he did really well for the part he was given, but I just feel like it's such a missed opportunity to have Paul McGann be the War Doctor. He was brilliant in Night of the Doctor. I think he could have possibly become one of, if not my favourite Doctor of all time if he was given enough screen time. He wasn't great in the TV movie, but Night of the Doctor, those seven minutes are absolutely amazing. I'm a Doctor, but probably not the one you're expecting. And I think, yeah, John Hurt just felt a bit unnecessary, and I don't know, I, I don't hate him. I'll retract that. I just don't think he's... Yeah, I can't really explain it. I don't like him as much as any of the others. I definitely think they should have had Paul McGann back for the 50th. And yeah, it's a shame Christopher Eccleston couldn't do it, but... Who said Paul McGann didn't end the time war? Anyway, that brings us to the end of the video. Sorry if I've triggered any of you and you all want me to die. Please don't unsubscribe or dislike the video, unless you really strongly dislike the video. But yeah, those were my five controversial, I think, opinions on Doctor Who. If you have any controversial opinions, write them in the comments and we can have a civilised discussion. No anger, please. But yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.